everyone welcome to this sims 3 house renovation so this is the final base game house in the sims 3 library or bin and this house here is called um, bulkhead and this was originally a i think it was a three bedroom two bathroom house um, and i ended up making it into a three bedroom two and a half bathroom house so we just kind of saw the original exterior the original living room and then this is kind of the original kitchen and dining room you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like and then this is the final um, or the um, original um, bedroom so not the final one the original uh, main bedroom in the house so you can kind of get an idea of what um, all the rooms in the house look like beforehand but now we're going to jump into the renovation and this one is a pretty major transformation i would say the house is probably mostly unrecognizable um, on the outside it ends up being quite quite a change and a lot of that is just down to the roof and some balconies that i add to it but it, it really does make a big difference and right here, right off the bat, I'm using these um, windows, which are from a custom content set. So these are, um, I think it's the Modern Line window set is what it's called. And I've used it on many houses, um, in many of my past few houses. I really love these, these modern windows, and so I've been using them on the modern houses. And so if you're interested in downloading... Uh, these windows, um, if you want to download the house and have these windows in it, uh, the link in the description below is where you can download the, the custom content set. But anyway, you can see I'm already making a lot of changes to the house. So um, I already kind of changed the entrance way. I added a few balconies. As you can see, there's one on the corner in the front. There's one on the side, one on the back. Um, and yeah, so all of that is kind of going to add a little bit more visual interest to the outside of this house because it was just a big box, basically, with some very strange things happening. I mean, they said this house is supposed to be nautical inspired. I feel like the only elements of that were some like circular windows and that was kind of it. I guess maybe the wood planks are and maybe like where the stairs are kind of like this weird jutting out part. I got rid of the angled wall that was in the front of the house before. And as far as the floor plan goes, uh, the living room's the same. I removed the wall between the kitchen and dining room, so it's a little bit more of just like one room together. And I added a study and a powder room on the first floor in the kind of the extra space. Now, the original main bedroom had two separate bathrooms, one with a sink and toilet and one with a shower tub. So I just made it one bathroom, which makes more sense to me. And so that's kind of the main change there added some closets um and yeah so that's kind of the main thing that happens um floor plan wise um but anyway uh right now i'm using um the place freezes cheat so i can just make some very easy freezes because i didn't feel like using constraint for elevation and this was the original kind of roofing for the house that i was envisioning but i actually end up making half the roof flat and um you know i wanted to keep some of the original that original aspect of the house. The house originally had a flat roof, and so um, one half of the roof is a half gable, and then there's also like some flat sections on there you can see which are kind of over top those balconies that I added, just so there's like a little bit of something happening visually. And on the other half, which right now is just another half gable, I'm gonna make that kind of a balcony. So it's gonna be like a rooftop that your Sims can go up to. There's gonna be a staircase that's gonna go up underneath that um, half gable. And yeah, and then it'll be an accessible kind of little roof space. So I thought that would be, that, that was kind of nice. So I do that a little bit later on, I add that in. But yeah, so right now um, I'm working on some more floor plan stuff, just a few little things here and there. But yeah, mainly the overall shape of the house is kind of in. You can tell it's still going to be a box. I mean, the house is still a box, basically a big square. Uh, you know, it needed some something visually interesting going on. So all of these kind of balconies and bump outs, which don't actually add any interior space to the house. There's no additional interior space, really. Um, you know, like I, I expanded like the upstairs area where the stairs are because... It was only one wide stairs originally. I made it two wide stairs, but that's not actually like floor space. It's just where the stairs are. So yeah, there's not really, there's no added um, space to the house. So, you know, to make it look more interesting, I really just needed to add add some stuff to the outside. So yeah, um, all these balconies and stuff help a lot with that. And also like using the wall, you'll see later on, I use the, the wallpaper and the outside um, materials to make those kind of stand out a little bit from the main part of the house.
And the house originally had this driveway with these two parking spots on it, so I actually ended up making a garage. So I can, you can see here I added this garage that connects to the kitchen, and I think that was nice to have because it was just weird having this like parking lot essentially next to the house. So yeah, that's the that's the garage there. And then the pool, I expand it. Uh, it was kind of a weird shape before. I don't really know why, but it makes more sense. It's like a nice rectangle, and I kind of fenced it in the backyard. Anyway, the kitchen is kind of the first room I tackle, which originally was pink, blue, and like mint green. So I actually keep the pink. I just make it a lot lighter. And so the living, the sorry, the kitchen and, and dining room ends up being pink um, on the walls at least. But as you can see, the cabinets and stuff end up um, much nicer looking, uh, quite a bit more uh, modern. It was like weird. It's like a modern house with like a lot of the stuff in the kitchen and like all the furniture in the house was like not modern. So it kind of didn't make sense, but you know, that's kind of the way these houses are. Um, and yeah, so this is actually the final house in the library. So there's 15, I believe, 15 of these houses that came with the Sims 3 base game, um, but that weren't placed in Sunset Valley at all. They were just in the bin that's like on Edit Town. So this is the final house. This is all 15 here um, that I've renovated. So it's kind of the end of this ongoing mini series, I guess, of me renovating these houses. So, you know, if you've watched all of them, thank you for watching them all. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the last one. So of, of these, of this series of renovations, basically. Um, and right now I'm actually adding what I mentioned earlier is this is the stairs that are going to get, get up to that, um, balcony, um, or a rooftop, I guess. This was a little bit of a challenge. I had to figure out how to get these stairs to, to, to make sense. So I essentially have um, a staircase in the hallway that leads up to um, kind of an intermediate level. Um, and then there's just another smaller staircase that takes you up to the door. And it's kind of like an L shape, basically. And there's like, I had to do a, an angled roof, angled ceiling, so it fits underneath the roof of the house. I really wanted to use a ladder, but it just wasn't working. I think it was something with the freezes that it just didn't want to do. So I had to abandon the ladder um, idea and do a full staircase instead, which unfortunately took up more space. Um, I had to like reduce the size of the bedroom in order to fit that, but it's okay. It's, it's pretty cool though to have. Um, here you can see I'm still trying. I think I tried a did I try a spiral staircase? Pro oh, maybe not. Anyway, there's the full-on staircase. So there you can see I had to make the bedroom smaller. And then I got the staircase in there, made the bathroom a little bit bigger again. And then um, you can see where I'm going to have that L shape kind of come in. So I'm still messing around though with all the all the cheats and stuff. It was just being such a mess. Anyway, there I was filling in the holes that I made and then and then I got the stairs right there. And so now you can see a slight adjustment of the roof. Um, I have that little... That little area at the top where you can kind of get to the top of the stairs and go through the door onto the rooftop. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, took a little bit of finagling to get them in the stairs in there, but it all kind of works out pretty well. And then as far as the roof here, as you can see, it's kind of sticking through the roof. I ended up just using constraint for elevation and some stairs um, just to get that to fit um, underneath that roof line. So you don't know from the outside that there's kind of technically a tiny third floor, um, or at least a staircase that goes up, up underneath, underneath that roof. So yeah, it was kind of the best way that I could get it to work with the original floor plan of the house, just with it being, because obviously if you did the stairs going the other direction, if they were going, um, the other direction, they could have just go like in a straight line all the way up. It would have been easier, but the floor plan did not allow that with the way it was, you know, I, I kept the house, the floor plan pretty close to the original. So I would have had to like completely change everything in order to, to put the stairs going the other direction. So there we go. Lots of constraint for elevation happening here, but you can see now I have the angled roof, I got some windows in there, and now that's all good to go. So yeah, that's pretty much how I got how I got all that in. And I make a few more adjustments to the outside, um, to some balconies and stuff. I will continue to make more adjustments as we go on as well. Also got some flower beds in here. You know, I think it's kind of fun to have, um, you know, just like those like neat little flower beds. I've been doing them on the modern houses lately. And there's the driveway and front walkway. I really wish that there was a terrain paint that matched the sidewalk that's in the base game. As you can see, the sidewalk there, but it's okay. It's like one from university, I think. So it looks kind of like a sidewalk. It's kind of similar, like these concrete um, squares. So it's like not asphalt, it's like concrete. 
So I don't know. I thought it was interesting. So that's what I did. And yeah, so that is um, the outside stuff for now. And I don't know actually what I'm doing exactly right now. I, th- I was going to make some tweaks to the layout or something, but I didn't end up doing that. Uh, you know, I added a door there to that balcony. So the master um, bedroom has two balconies now, which is fancy. Um, and yeah, I was going to also add a, oh yeah, the game froze right there for a little bit. So that was a little bit scary. Um, <laughs> why I wasn't moving and yeah so there we go I extended that balcony or the rooftop a little bit across there so I thought that looked better and yeah I was contemplating adding like another little bathroom or something there but I didn't do that so um that's kind of I just adjusted the closet for that bedroom but it's pretty much it right there um in terms of the layout changes so yeah now I'm going to do the outside colors the outside of the house is originally kind of this beige which your yellowish beige I don't know it's kind of yucky I I went with this gray which um matches the chimney that I have there um and then I I keep the wood but I changed the color of it so that will be the additional material so the house is mainly the gray stucco so you'll see that kind of is the base of the house so most of the house is that and then the accents are the wood um so like I think the house before was like all wood on the bottom and like the stucco on the top so this way it's 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 mainly just the stucco and then you have the wood as an accent so you kind of see I'm doing that right now putting it kind of every stucco kind of everywhere as you can see and now we're gonna do the wood so yeah the wood I I adjust the color of it because it was a little bit too bright um so I make it a bit more weathered or desaturated looking and um, I also introduce the vertical wood as well which I think helps um on kind of the sides it adds a little bit of it makes it look a bit more interesting so you kind of have the vertical wood and the horizontal wood working together there so it kind of looks like that and yeah so I think that looks nice and it helps break up the stucco and it makes the wood act more of an accent as well which I think is nice and so I use it kind of on all these balconies that I added to the house all the little things I added on to the outside like those little roofs and stuff all of that gets the wood um, on it, so I think that kind of helps them stand out a little bit. And so you kind of have the, the grays, like the base of the house, that kind of main rectangle, and then you have the wood additions to it. I think it's kind of nice. Anyway, and here I'm recoloring all of the windows and doors on the house to match the wood. So doing that right now. So here we go. And yeah, I really like these windows, as I say, and every time I use them, I think they look really nice. Um, and they have like kind of some nice options, like those. I don't know if you noticed, I have like. Um, in the kitchen behind the counter um, in between the counter and the upper cabinet there's like this nice slim window it's by the garage door there you can kind of see it yeah there it is I think it's really cool and then also how they're modular as well I think is really nice it's lots of different sizes that's why I use them they're a lot better than the base game windows so you know you don't have to download them download the house because you can I think it'll just replace the windows which obviously kind of sucks but you know you can kind of just to replace them um, if you don't want to download the custom content but if you are interested like I said before all everything you need is in the description anyway so right now I'm doing the inside doors now that I've done all the outside doors so just recoloring things here um, and yeah so I think that's pretty much it for all of that I got the wood flooring in so yeah, it's a nice wood flooring kind of in the main parts of the house and kind of the first part on the inside that I'm going to tackle is the kitchen so the kitchen has this nice light wood and then um, it's a nice stone. I carry the stone up onto the wall as well, which you'll see. So I use like the actual, the walls that are using the pools. So you can see that's like the blue with the tile at the top and I actually reverse it. So the stone is the main part of the wall and the top is just um, paint. So it looks, so it doesn't, because I don't like when the stone or tile goes up above the cabinets. It makes, it's kind of weird. So it's kind of nice. It has that strip of paint at the top. And so this way though, it looks like the countertop extends up onto the wall, which is kind of cool. Very sleek look. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I did. And I got, you can see the pink on the walls because the kitchen had pink in it originally. So I wanted to keep that alive a little bit. So it's like a much lighter pink though. Um, and it's kind of fun. It goes with the wood tones and the cabinets and the floor and stuff. So I think it's kind of nice. Anyway, there we have a nice little trash can. We have all the appliances in right now. I'm getting some blinds on the windows as well. So, you know, I just put blinds in all the windows that can fit them. And what's happening now? I'm going to do the dining room. So, yeah, so the dining table stays the same. Um, just recolor it, basically, because it was pretty heinous. So, um, yeah, just recoloring the dining table here and the chairs, of course, as well. So I'm just going to do that. And, yeah, so, I mean, this room was originally... So originally the kitchen and the dining room were separate rooms. So the dining room is kind of more so where the study is now, as you can see. And the kitchen had a, had a wall there. And it was actually a lot less in the kitchen. It just was a kind of... A, 
pretty empty room. It was like a bar in the corner of the dining room, but there it was two fairly large empty rooms. And so I, I brought them together. So it's kind of more open plan. They're still separate from the living room. So it's not fully open plan, but it's more so than it was. And then there's enough room for that study, which is nice because that was kind of just a wasted space originally. And also the entrance way to the house used to be part of the living room. Well, actually the front door used to be right where the fireplace is now. And I moved it over to the, to the stairs uh, where the stairs are. And I kind of made it separated that. So now there's more of like a separate entrance way to the house, a bit more defined. I was able to add like a powder room, laundry room off of that space, which is nice. Because originally I think the house, I guess it had no bathroom that guests could use because the two upstairs bathrooms are both on suites because one of them's a Jack and Jill bathroom between the two upstairs bedrooms and the other one is an ensuite for the master bedroom. So there was no guest bathroom at all in the house originally. So I added that powder room on the first floor, which I think makes sense to have. It also doubles as a laundry room, but we'll get to that. Anyway, right now in the kitchen, I'm just kind of adding a bunch of decorations. I have a fun little record player. There's like a bookshelf, as you can see. Um, and now in the living room, I'm just recoloring the fireplace. And you can kind of see like, so um, the entrance area where the stairs are and that small room behind it, which is going to be the bathroom, used to all be part of the living room. So it's a really big room. And it did not need to be that big. Um, I thought it would be nice to have more of a defined entrance space. And there's also um, only a couple small windows now in the front of the house, as you can see, off to the side of the fireplace. And I think it's nice to have that be a little bit more private because the house is so close to the street. And, um, you know, there's lots of nice big windows kind of in the back of the house and in other rooms. And so I wanted to, you know, make the living room a little bit more cozy, a little bit more private and not just like have giant open windows facing the sidewalk. So um, I went with some smaller windows there. And anyway, right now I'm looking at the house at nighttime. But yeah, living room, pretty standard stuff. I got my favorite modern couches in here, um, which are from the store. And a nice big plant there. I also got a lot of bookshelves in this house, actually. There's another one, as you can see, in the living room. And then I think there's going to be another one by the back door. And there's going to be more elsewhere. Um, I made the couches powder blue because the original couches in the house were powder blue. You can see I have a couch in the driveway I was getting the color from. And... The wall color is a lightened version of what was there originally. As you can kind of see, it was still by the stairs there is what it was originally. So I kind of got the color and, and made it lighter, but it's still kind of inspired by the original living room colors. And then the addition of the fireplace I thought was nice. Um, so you have a nice fireplace there and then um, some curtains and stuff. And oh, there's a tiny bookshelf there underneath that window that matches the other one, which I think they're from Roaring Heights. And a nice little lamp. And yeah, some decorations. I think that's pretty much it. So we're into the entrance now, I believe, um, which is pretty simple. Um, I doubled the staircase. It was originally a single wide staircase. I made it too wide because I thought it was nicer. I also added this decorative fencing, which is like this kind of, I don't know, like these little bars, I guess. I thought it was kind of fun. I added like a strip of it there um, on that balcony, which I know kind of takes away some of the space, but I thought it was cool. I also added some down by the entrance too. So it's kind of like, I don't know, just like a nice decoration. I think it's just kind of adds some visual interest to the house. Having that um, doesn't serve a functional purpose, but I thought it was kind of cool. Anyway, this is the powder room and laundry room. So they're kind of just one room together because I didn't have a great way of making them separate rooms. And, you know, it's fine to have that. Anyway, um, yeah, so pretty simple. I was going to do tile, but you can see it looked whack with the counters and the walls not lining up. So I went with stone instead. But yeah, I got the same thing with the the... The stone on the counter goes up onto the wall, which I thought was cool. Got my classic shelf there over the washer dryer. So, you know, looking very nice. Got some details in here. We got like the little laundry de laundry details. And then um, got some, I got a hand towel there next to the sink. And I'm going to get a mirror, of course. Got some toilet papers, also a medicine cabinet. You know, going all out here. Some toilet paper and a candle. And then, um, yeah, so there's that mirror, which actually mounts on the wall and kind of goes up above the window, which is kind of cool. Um, at least it mounts onto the wall, so that's good. And then it just like kind of looks like it's floating in front of the window, which is kind of cool. But anyway, here I'm recoloring the staircase so that it matches the wood floors and also recoloring the other staircases as well in the house and repainting the hallway upstairs. I'm getting some um, wallpaper in here and then I'm going to get some details and stuff in the entrance and in the hallway. So um, just a nice little runner there by the front door. I'm kind of running um, over to where the living room is. And then I got like, a little table there with a phone, a plant, and a piece of art over here. So, yeah, um, 
that's pretty much it. Very simple little entrance area to the house. There's also a runner on the second floor hallway. And then um, I'm going to get some, probably some blinds in the windows and some art, or I guess at least a mirror there. So there's a mirror there. Yeah, there's the blinds on all the windows. And I also think I get like a little a little couch thing as well. So I'm uh, missing blinds in that window at the end. I hopefully I put those in, but if not, that's, that's okay. Um, I don't, oh, there we go. I got them in anyway. Um, yeah. So I think I get like a little, a little fun couch there on the, by the stairs just to kind of fill that space. It's kind of quirky. So I don't know if I've ever really used that couch. It's from late night. Very interesting. So anyway, that's there. A little plant in the corner. That's pretty much it. I think for the, for the hallway area. Um, and yeah, so this is the main bedroom, which I actually keep the um, bedspread, all the bed colors pretty much. And the wall color, I, I make it, I actually don't know what the wall color was originally, but it's still a pink, which I think is what it was, close to what it was originally. But yeah, you can see all the bedding is the same. Um, I just switch out the furniture, so it's nicer furniture. Um, got some art there. It's kind of this green and pink color scheme, which is interesting. A little bit of blue in there as well. I got a couple of dressers in here, which I thought would be nice. I'm just adjusting the wood tones right now. And yeah, this bedroom has two balconies, actually, one on each side of the house, which is kind of cool. I've um, got a little mirror there. There's a TV in this room, which is nice. And then in this kind of corner where all these big windows are, I have um, I have a nice little seating area. We have a chair with an ottoman, and then there's a nice a fun lamp there, which is kind of cool. And yeah, getting a rug in here, but that's pretty much actually the bedroom. So yeah, pretty simple, but it's definitely a big improvement over what was there before. And yeah, the bathroom is now condensed into one bathroom, whereas before it was two separate ones, which is kind of weird. And this is a very bold bathroom. It was originally, you know, it was lime green and navy blue, like tile everywhere. So I still, I went bold here though. It's So we have the, the flooring is similar. It's still lime green and navy blue, and I made the walls navy blue as well. So it's very, very dark. You'll see in the screenshots, it almost looks like it's black, which uh, is, you know, it's not something I've really done before, but I thought it was kind of interesting. And then you have the white marble, which I think is nice. And so you have that on the bathtub, on the sinks, and I'm going to put it on the wall behind the bathtub as well. So it kind of adds a little bit of a statement piece. So instead of like dark stone in a white room, you have a white stone in a dark room. Um, and the floor, I guess that's that's pretty much as, as statement as you can get there with the lime green tiles. But I wanted to keep some some form of the original um, colors alive here because it was definitely very interesting originally with that with the colors they chose. So I wanted to keep some some um, something kind of resembling that. And there's the white wall there, as you can see behind the tub. And then I'm gonna get some clothes in the closet. Um, also, this is one of those rare times actually where I did the the primary bathrooms a different color scheme completely to the bedroom. Usually they match. So in this house, it's, it's quite different, though I guess there's some green in the bedroom, so it kind of ties it in, I guess, a bit, but definitely unusual, though, for me. Um, we have this little nook right here by the back door. I just put a bookshelf there, but yeah, just kind of like a little a little area there, a um, little like mudroom area, I guess. And then this is the study, so this is a new room to the house. I guess it could be a fourth bedroom if you really wanted it to be, although it's kind of a weird place because it's like kind of off of the dining room. But yeah, just a simple study, um, simple little room. Got your computer desk in here. Got some book, more bookshelves. Like I said, there's a lot of bookshelves in this house. But um, yeah, got your bookshelves, your computer, um, a nice lamp there. And I'm also going to get in a chess set as well. So there's, um, you know, chess in the house too. So, you know, it's a little skill building space as well. So yeah, um, but that's pretty much the whole study. I'm going to get a rug on the floor too, I think, but that'll pretty much be it for that. So yeah, pretty simple little study there. And uh, what's next? I think probably the rest of the upstairs. So we have two more bedrooms and then this bathroom. So yeah, we're gonna do the bathroom first. Um, so this is an, a Jack and Jill bathroom, basically between the two small bedrooms in the house. And yeah, I pretty much, um, you know, got rid of anything original in here because it was all pretty horrible. Um, which there's a screenshot of this bathroom at the end in the before and after screenshots. So you'll get to see what I you know, remind yourself of what it looked like, but pretty crazy as a lot of the stuff in these houses are. So yeah, a much more simple bathroom, but you have still have a separate tub shower, um, which is nice. Um, you know, the primary bedroom has that as well. Of course, got the double sinks though in that bathroom. This one is a single sink, but you know, still nice. You have a separate tub and shower in here. Very simple color scheme, very neutral, um, kind of gray and white. Um, so, you know, very simple kind of look in there. 
Um, and now we're going to do the uh, kids room basically. So I kind of tried to keep some essence of the original, though it's not really that much. Um, the color on the wall is, is kind of similar, so lightened version of it. And yeah, this, this bedroom uh, has a nice little balcony off of it, kind of faces the backyard, which is kind of fun. Um, we still got a single bed in here, just kind of going for some sort of bedspread. I thought that would work. I went with that one, I think. It's kind of got that like reddish color on it. And yeah, so I think that's the bed area. Um, Recovering some of the furniture in here. Yeah, I got rid of the old furniture. It was pretty, pretty crazy, pretty crazy stuff with that. Um, and yeah, just got like a nice pinup board on the wall there, cork board, a poster there over the bed, and then there's another little board there over the dresser. So that's kind of fun. And a little beanbag chair right there. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, I get some small little things in here, but yeah, pretty simple bedroom. It's on the smaller side. Oh, it's in our bookshelf, of course. Like I said, this house has tons of bookshelves, so you know, not missing an opportunity to put one in. Um, but yeah, very simple bedroom. Um, just a nice little kid's room. And yeah, there you go. So uh, we're gonna get some clothes in the closet, of course, just the decorative closets. They don't, they, I know they take up space, but they're, they're nice. They're kind of uh, a nice bit of detail and realism. So I like to have them. And um, this is the nursery, which I'm counting as the third bedroom. For some reason, like the Sims team, when they built all these houses did not count nurseries as bedrooms. So technically this house was counted as a two bedroom, two bathroom house, but I count the nursery as a bedroom. So I'm calling it a three bedroom house. So yeah, um, it has a nursery here, which is simple, obviously connects to that ensuite bathroom and has a closet, of course. So, you know, it's, it's meant to be like a full on bedroom and just got some toys in here. I kept the wallpaper, just recolored it because it was like really depressing and brown before. So now it's a bit lighter and brighter, but the carpet's the same, same carpet as before that kind of turquoise carpet, um, remains. Anyway, so the whole inside is done, which is great. Um, now we have the outside stuff to do. So yeah, just, um, just adding some stuff to the staircase here that leads up to the roof. Um, this is actually the first time, I think, in a house building video where I use the by debug lights. Um, I just never use them because I I just, I don't know, I don't, I think they're ugly when you're in build mode, even though they're obviously nice in, in live mode. I don't know, I just tend not to use them. I just like to use real lighting, but that staircase was just like really dark and there wasn't really a good way for me to incorporate lighting into it. So I, I used it and you know, it's fine. It's, you know, obviously it looks good. Um, anyway, I just adding some terrain paint around the pool in the garage as well. So there we go. And I'm going to obviously do the garage. So the garage is very simple. We got a car in here and then also just the, the, it'll have the general decorations that I add from fast lane stuff, um, and all the garages that I do. So it's all very similar. Um, so yeah, there you go. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. So that is the garage. We're gonna do some outdoor lighting as well. So got some little lights here by all the doors and stuff on the outside of the house, on the balconies and things, which is nice. And yeah, so all that's very good. And now I'm just going to do some more, um, outside, like, um, some small adjustments to the wallpaper on the outside of the house, some under roof flooring going on here. Um, and getting a wood, material on the balconies and on the roof, um, on the roof deck. I don't know what you call it, but I guess it's kind of a balcony, but it's not really, it's like the roof. Um, and on these flat parts, I also got a roof material. I got this like metal, um, this like kind of sort of metal like panels that I put on top. So I tried to ma make it kind of match the roof color of the house. So it doesn't stand out too much, but yeah, so there we go. That's all that kind of small adjustments done. We really just have outdoor furniture and landscaping left to do. I'm um, getting in the mailbox there, which is kind of near these flower beds, getting in some plants now. So some plant life, got a nice aspen tree in the front there. Um, you know, so getting in some trees, of course, these, all these base game houses that were in the, in the bin don't have like any landscaping at all to speak of. They, they have like flooring on the outside, like the driveway of the original house, but no plants or terrain paint or anything like that. So it always is nice to see the houses kind of come together with the landscaping because it really does make a big difference. So there, I'm just filling out the landscaping beds in the front. I also kind of put this hedge going alongside the driveway, which kind of helps separate the driveway from the neighbor's house, which is like very, very close, as you can see. Um, the house there, which the house next door, I actually did a renovation of a very long time ago. Um, the house, I think, is called Peep's Peak. I did a renovation of that like in 2015, maybe. Um, so, you know, like over seven years ago. That video is probably somewhat crusty. The renovation is probably kind of crusty too, but 
you know, you can watch that if you want after this. Um, kind of funny. Anyway, yeah, so the pool area has um, some ladders and, uh, and uh, you know, a nice diving board. There's not like a lot of outdoor space because it's kind of a small lot. And I, and I mean, there would be more just the way I fenced it off and landscaped it makes it kind of small. But there's like a little dining table out here, which I thought was nice. So it's kind of by the back doors. I was, I'm going to put a grill as well as like a small little lawn area. Obviously, there's more backyard here where the fence is, and I kind of put a flower bed there, but it kind of feels like a nice courtyard almost, or the wall and the way the garage kind of makes an L shape with the house. I thought it's kind of cool. And it feels kind of somewhat secluded, which I thought was nice. Um, here, I'm just painting inside the freeze levels, so they're just black and kind of don't um, take away visually from the house when you kind of have the walls down. And yeah, just adding some terrain paint, you know, all the classic kind of final touches here. Um, there's going to be some before and after screenshots coming up in like a minute. So I hope you stick around for those. You can kind of get an idea of what the house looks like from in the beginning and in the end. You kind of got a nice idea of the, all the changes. Obviously, this was a pretty major transformation visually, uh, more so than quite a f than most of the previous ones. This one is very significant, um, a very significant change visually with the way the house looks. I'm uh, getting some just some lounge chairs on the roof up here, which I thought would be nice. And there's also going to be some little planters on the wall there. And then I also got like a little bar cart, which I thought would be kind of, which is kind of fun. And yeah, just recoloring those. But if you enjoy this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing. Um, and I always love to hear your feedback in the comments. And like I mentioned, you can download the house link in the description below. And there's also links to the window set that I use, the custom content window set, and also a link to um, instructions on how to install a custom content if you're not familiar. But yeah, so everything you need is in the description. Um, here I'm just kind of doing the last few final touches to the house. So as always, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time.